special function 06 off again and deliver the sheet. Perforation is activated with special function 18. Run a few test sheets and take one sheet from the delivery. Check the perforation. When pulling just a little, the perforated paper strip should come off completely. Perforation is okay. You can start the production run. The precondition for numbering and imprinting is that the press has been fitted with the basic equipment. The numbering unit of Printmaster QM46 is a very compact unit which can be transported on a service trolley. The numbering shaft has to be equipped with mounting rings. You only need two screws to put the different parts together. Now the numbering boxes are installed on the mounting rings and tightened with screws. Measure the required position of the numbers on your print sheet. The measured value has to be adjusted on the outside scale of the numbering unit. The unit is locked with a small brass screw. The caliper gauge is moved above the mounting rings. All numbering boxes are now vertically adjusted and fixed on the mounting rings. Their correct positioning can be checked with the caliper gauge. The vertical position of the numbering box is correct if the caliper gauge is in one line with the lead edge of the digits. The horizontal adjustment of the numbering boxes is done from the center of the sheet. Move the caliper gauge to the required position and align the mounting ring holding the numbering box. The adjustment is correct. The caliper gauge is in one line with the outer line of digits. Tighten the mounting rings. Set the digits of the numbering boxes. Digits that are not needed for the next job can be pressed down and turned off. In our example, the first four digits are set to zero. Now you can fill some ink into the prepared ink fountain. Before installing the numbering unit, it has to be set to its zero position. Turn the unit until you feel it is locked in position. Special function 66 shows you the press angle. Turn the press to an angle of exactly 228 degrees. Open the guard and remove the drip pan. 
roll the numbering unit over to the delivery of your press. Turn the lateral latches in the press. Open the lock with your left thumb and push the numbering unit into the press. The lateral latches are now turned back. Turn the press manually once, just to be sure. Start the press. Set on the ink fountain ruler and let some ink flow. Special function 17 starts the numbering unit. Print a few sheets and check the position of the numbers. Remove the numbering unit from the press and make the necessary corrections. The cams can be installed if the numbering boxes are in their correct position. The distance between numbering box and cam has to be exactly right. A distance piece will help check the distance precisely. Turn the numbering unit into the zero position and set the press to an angle of exactly 228 degrees. Move the numbering unit back into the press. Slowly inch the press forward for one complete rotation. The numbering boxes will not switch if you turn on the waste sheet counter. Now you should check the printed sheets again. The numbering unit is equipped with an inking unit and a blade type ink fountain. The ink fountain roller lever is on the far right side.
With the operator tool, the ink ductor is set on in the lower position and set off in the upper position. The ink zone settings are done through the holes of the guard. The lever for setting ink stripe width is on the left side. The pressure is set at both openings at the bottom. Now you can turn off the waste sheet counter and start the production run. Install the wash-up blades for cleaning the unit. Wash-up solution can be applied on the rollers with the splashing help. Carefully put some wash-up solution on the splashing help. The numbering unit is removed from the press after finishing the wash-up procedure. With this numbering unit, you can also run imprinting jobs. Remove one numbering box. You can put the image to be imprinted on a printing block holder with double-sided adhesive tape. Install the printing block holder on a mounting ring and tighten it with a screw. Now you have seen how versatile and productive Printmaster QM46 is. We hope you have received some helpful hints and information and would like to wish you the best of success with your Printmaster QM46. For further information, please see the operating manual or contact your local Heidelberg agency. Enjoy working with your Printmaster QM46. Goodbye.